That's how you avoid mistakes. Tunnel screen here. Sam James gets loose. James to the sideline. Downfield blocks. He's to midfield. Tripped up. You're going to see five or six of these perimeter screens for West Virginia. Watch the big fellas. Frazier and Nestor just get out in space, and then it's James's job to kind of feel those blocks. Your first drive of this game, so a little bit of good by both units. Casey Lug from short range, 30 yards out. And he has now made 14 in a row. First down conversion. Play action. Under pressure, here comes the pass rush for the Pokes. Dakey somehow stays alive and shovels one to TJ Banks. That ends up incomplete. So they rule that a sack as Tyler Lacey got him around the ankles and they rule forward progress stopped. Four man rush on second and 13. They set up the screen. It's tipped by Stills. And I think he's got an interception. Dante Stills does it alone. He lines up to start this play as the defensive tackle. Now West Virginia is going to run a stunt. He's going to switch with Bartlett. There's Stills as the defensive tackle. Bartlett goes inside. Now he becomes an edge rusher. Just great vision on Spencer Sanders. Get your hand up, big fella, and go make that pick. Green lost the football. It's knocked away. Kicked inside the 40-yard line of West Virginia. And it looks like the Mountaineers have it back. Jason Taylor. Knocked it free. I'm trying to get Green on the perimeter. Watch Mathis come in and just save this play. Pure effort. Oklahoma State slide on it. Don't try and scoop. And their defense goes out there and just about all but erases the Stills interception. A booming punt from Sumter. Down inside the five-yard line. Takes the sideways high. And it will be down to the five by West Virginia. Sanders, traffic at his feet, down he goes. Boy, he held the ball for a long time, and Akeem Nezidor got home for a 10-yard sack. And get sent Spencer Sanders ground on the ground. Mesador is a guy that you will not watch anybody on this field today because they've got to drop a safety Mahone to respect the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Slingshot to the sideline. Climbing the ladder is Presley to pull it down. At the 21 yard line. And now you can go play action pass there. Watch this route by Presley. Sell the crossing route. Put your foot in the ground. Fade route. Martin has it. Foot down. Touchdown. There is a flag down on the play, but Tim Martin, at least for now, with a highlight reel catch for the score. They have enough people on the ball, Oklahoma State offensively. Just a fade. Watch him go up. Offside. Giving him cookies. And the strong hands. Defense up in the neutral zone. That penalty is declined. Result of the play. Touchdown. The ball pops out at the end. Tay Martin makes the catch, though. One foot down. Yep. Two feet down. Third foot steps out of bounds, and then he loses the ball. Their resume might say X, but if you watch the games, you're going to go, that's one of the four best teams in America. On third down, Davey in trouble. Down he goes. Tyler Lacey with the sack for the Pokes. That's a loss of 10. They're trying to get his slot screen up top. And there's Lacey. I don't know why Jarrett Dagey does not throw this football. He's an emotional quarterback. He's 9 of 11 here in the second quarter. As a passer, here's Warren getting to the sideline. Inside the 20. Jalen Warren down to the 16-yard line with a first down. Make something out of nothing. Watch the two cuts. One cut in the backfield. Oh, make the defender miss. Now another cut on that suck guy. Tanner Brown has been the place kicker for the last four weeks for Oklahoma State. This one from 34. And he's got it. How many weeks have we been doing this now? Ten? Dan's one for ten. Right up the gut goes Letty Brown. That's a good start to this drive for West Virginia as he picks up 15 yards. And that stops the clock for the moment. They need to throw. Under pressure from both sides. And down he goes. At some point, the play-action pass will come into play. Here is the play-action. Begging. Pocket collapses. And he is going to go down again.
The delayed blitz brings down Daigie as Devin Harper gets the sack. Tyler Sumter angles a punt to the far right sideline. And it takes a good West Virginia roll. And they will down it at the one yard line. Martin kind of took a shot right on the top of that knee. Alashevich. Bobbled the football. It's loose. He took a peek, trying to set up a return. It went right off his chest plate. And Oklahoma State has it. The kicking team, first down, Oklahoma State. Corey Black comes up with the fumble recovery. First and 10 at the 12. Lob pass. Tay Martin, back right corner. He's got it. Touchdown. Spencer Sanders right down the chimney to Tay Martin for the Oklahoma State score. Watch the end here. There's that little left arm by Martin again. Yep, that's good on Sundays. Gets two down. Why not go back to it? Yep. Because that's the second time it's worked. Tay Martin with six catches. And this is a young man that lost his mom when she was 34 years old to cardiac arrest. As Daigie is going to be sacked again back inside the 50 20 at about the 17 yard line. And I think he's a tremendously impressive young man. Boy, this impressive pass rush just keeps on peppering Jared Daigie. Another sack, this one for Brock Martin. That's number seven for the Oklahoma State defensive front. You got the slot, you got numbers. Long throw, climbing the ladder. And pulling it down is Bryson Green. And Bryson with his first, Blaine Green had a catch in the first half. How about the extension on that one though? And he'll try and angle one. Lashevich will let it fly behind him. And it is caught on a fly inside the five yard line at about the three. Perfectly executed. Third down and six for their offense here. Slant, shot complete. Caught by Jaden Bray. Breaking free. The freshman all the way down inside the 15 yard line. By the coaches, number 85 might show up. He just did. There's a formation in the boundary, one on one, bottom of the screen. You got all that space for that slant route right there. Pass concept, that pass route, you create all that room for the slant route. I'll hand it to Warren here. Right up the middle into the end zone for a touchdown. An exclamation point, you would think, for Oklahoma State. 13-yard blast into the end zone for Jalen Warren. And you get the big completion on third down. Well, let's watch Cole Birmingham. Front side, run game, good. Backside run game, great. Watch him step down, now peel back. That's how that seam happens. See the little window that gets opened up for Warren? As they have just shut down any attempt run game-wise, and it's forced this one-dimensional offense from West Virginia. The screen, the ball pops out. I think they're going to rule that a catch and a fumble, but West Virginia is able to recover. Reese Smith recovered it. Sam James on the perimeter screen here. Just look at the population. All the bodies that are getting to the football for Oklahoma State. But this Oklahoma State should beat those two teams. Lincoln Riley's offense has struggled. Another party at the quarterback, as you said, for the Pokes as they bring down Daigie. After the timeout, there's a slant, and it looks like the ball was taken away. Running with it is Christian Holmes. If it is an interception, I think he was down when he made the pick, but it looks like he had a 50-50 ball and just ripped it away. Just a slant route up top. Hands on, now watch him come over the top and rip the ball away. Wow. I think, he, I think the ball lands on top of, is that Ford Wheaton? I think the ball lands on top of his legs. And he gets that pick. Absolutely suffocating, relentless, and dominant defensive performance by Oklahoma State. Can't say enough about everybody on their defense.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.